Good yeah, evening. Man. This is Jimmy Two Time. I'm hey. WAP. This is another episode of Yinsology. The study of everything Pittsburgh. Jim, what is the ultimate Pittsburgh Yinzer? Like in the top three, if you're going to eat something from Pittsburgh, what, what's it going to be? This is like the best tailgate thing around. Got the pierogies. Don't be intimidated. Pierogies. More than four per person, but pierogies. Join us as we show you how it's fast, easy, and fun for the entire family. Right here. This episode of Yanzology is brought to you by Cool Cones with two locations, Perry Highway and North Park. So get a Cool Cone and chill out. All right, it's going to be homemade pierogies. Monkey boys, join us with his bananas. You could do sweet or savory, but we're only doing savory today. So monkey boy, you're not getting dessert. Like a s'more one, or you can make like the traditional well, well, cheese and potato. Well, technically, if you go to Poland, they actually... Uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, appetizer, snacks, dessert. Any excuse to get it in there, they eat it. After dinner liqueur. Filling. One, go, two. Fried up. I'm gonna do potatoes and sauerkraut. So how many pounds for your potato filling? We want to do two pounds for the potato filling. No, one pound. One pound. I like them filled up a little bit more, but one pound. This is about a pound of potatoes. I'm using two russets. He's using like four little... From the Yukon, ver vi yeah, Yukon area. We're each going to do a filling. We're each going to do a batch of dough. Yeah, go wash, wash your hands. Wash I already hands. washed my hands. The beverage. Look at that. Delicious. 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 Mm-hmm. All right. Can't use purple because of the ravens. You got to use... I've got green. I like to do slices. I think the- A chunkier slices. I think they cook even more evenly than cubes. What are we uncovering? <gasps> what that? Oh, that Can't was- Can't get enough I was that. wondering what you were saying. <laughs> I want to keep your work area clean so you can see a Steelers right there. While our potatoes are boiling, uh, we're also going to do a sauerkraut filling. Just regular sauerkraut, but then I went fancy. I mixed it with the high-end bu Bubbies. Bubbies Spicy. you got to squeeze out all the juice. You don't want liquids. You don't want fluids. That's just to do it by hand. And if you didn't know, October 8th, National Pierogi Day. Well, it's a little upsetting that we're going to have a pierogi festival out there at Kennywood, but Kennywood gave them a hard time about ticket prices, and then they canceled, and now there's no pierogi festival. Hopefully, they'll bring it back next year, but this is yeah. our little festival this here, is, yes. down south. Yeah. You know, uh, 1800s, oh. steel, iron, glass, coal, they needed workers, like millions of them by way of Poland. They bring Jimmy. They brought pierogies. They brought something so they could eat for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, and for snacks. And, and yeah, here. And babushkas, oh. back in the day, they would put in like herbs and veal guts and like innards and weird stuff. Like we nutmeg. Like yeah, we don't do that here. We're not old school. We're going kraut and taters. And these aren't <laughs> earrings, by the way. These aren't earrings. Hey, let me hold one up. Yep. Yeah. Remember the longer earring. I Pierogi. don't like jalapeno Hannah or sauerkraut salt. Sauerkraut who, who salt. Like? Better like? call sauerkraut salt. If you're not from the bird, that's the PNC Park. That's the great pierogi race. Cut it. Slice you pick it. this up. Circle. You take it out. And well, we're going to show them, Jim. We're going to show them when we have the Yeah. Door. And then you put it in He's right here. In anyways. And the little, little <laughs> pocket there. You go ahead and you put the filling in. And you flip it up. Put a little butter in your crot. Put a little butter in your crot. Oh, you I, don't make, I don't measure it. I just put butter, butter in. Butter makes it better. I don't know. Butter I half a better. stick. A little salt and pepper. And a little Whoa, salt. you don't want to. Wow, that's salt. a lot of salt. There's some pepper. And then. Uh, Whoa, there's. And then we're going to get some. Uh, there's some pepper there. And a little <laughs> bit of. <laughs> we're not yeah. going to say this word. We're not going to say this word, but. Uh, it's cream cheese. That's all we're saying. Yeah. Not the other word. No, don't say it. No. Uh-uh. Pittsburgh cream cheese. You're going to want your paddle for this. But you also need Jim, I need the hook it. as well, but you need a paddle. Lock her down. 
bulk. That's that is supposed to be drier. That's a little bit drier. Than you gotta squeeze the crowd out. Ah, squeeze it out. Ah. Squeeze it out. Ah, 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 squeeze it out. Ah, squeeze, squeeze the it out. Squeeze it out. Ah, the crowd. The so babushkas, they've been making these things since like. They found recipes from the 17th century, but they think as far back as the 13th century from like the Kiev area, which is like Ukraine, but then they think Ukraine got it from China because China basically came up with everything from fireworks to paper to silk. But every ethnicity has their own kind of like hot pocket, hot pocket. Kind of like a ravioli. Okay. But it's it's the it's the Polish version of the uh, Italian right, yeah, ravioli. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Ravioli got the ricotta and everything else. The hardest part is cleanup. You can do this. I can't seem to do oh, this. So. <sighs> you gotta shake it 10 times, get all water out. See all the steam? That's when you know they're done, whenever you see all that steam. Hey, these, these fillings need chilled in the fridge for about 30 minutes, 15, 30 minutes. There. And a little bit of cream cheese. Yeah, but we don't want to say what type of cream cheese. It's just cream cheese. It's, it's Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh cream cheese. Pittsburgh cream cheese. Because we hate the Flyers. It's not from the wrong side of the state. I hate the Flyers. Go Pens. Hate the Eagles. Go Sillers. Oh, wait. Do we oh. we mix that up first? We don't. I don't uh, want that much. No. There you go. Hey, eyeball, eyeball. That's how you do it. You need this uh, sausage in there right now. Yeah. There you go. Throw it in. Right here. Look, look. Just throw that in right there. You'd want to do this with your cheddar while the taters are hot and the butter so it all melts and it makes it creamy. Always keep your workstation you clean. Down. We've got ourselves a situation here, boys. Whoa. Uh oh, oh. Whoa. <laughs> Should we throw it? Here, what here's the what we do. Here's defective. how you do this throw this what? back in. It's not want not. One, two, three, second rule. And then here, you cover it. <laughs> uh, hold her down. I'm in like we four got five of a box situation. of match right here. Fighting back here. And pierogi puppies are barking. Punching and kicking. Oh, 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 oh here we go. <laughs> I'm going down 79 south right now, going 70 miles an hour in the fast lane. We got this masher right here. Put some elbow grease in. No, you were getting the gun show. There you free go. Free of charge. You are free of charge to the gun show. There Jack you go. Button, smash that like button. If you watch the video, click it, like it. Turn off all your electronics after you subscribe to the button below. Then you shut all your electronics off. You make pierogies with your kids, your grandkids. I remember making raviolis with Grandma Rosalie. Smash that Brings like back good memories. It's almost like one of them old school whenever you were four years old, building blocks. Um... A quarter cup all the way to one cup and everything in between right there. We're going J-hook now. Lose your paddle. Wait. Jimmy two-time J-hook. Okay. Okay. This is what you call, rather than doling pianos, we got doling mixers, kitchen aids. Or dueling banjos. Just like in pizza world. It's all about the dough. 55, 60 degrees outside, less than 70% humidity. We got we have, we have some cold, lights on here. Cold front coming in. We got a cold front. This is the time you make it dough. Two and a half cups of flour. Right Two. There. Here, switch. Oh, wait. I, I, it took me a while. Whoa, look at that. Almost <laughs> like a waterfall of flour. Oh, mama, I'm in fear for my friend. I'm above the law. Hangman is coming down from the gallows, and I don't have very long. Wake up your great grandfather from the dead. Grandfather or great grand? Uh, grandfather. The cigar smoking Rooney. We need him back. The chief. Uh, one teaspoon. Uh oh. Uh, one cup sour cream. So you're, what we're doing is really just adding really rich fatness to this. Yeah. So this isn't anything about uh, we need a about cup. healthy. We need a cup of that. that. That's about a cup there. You just throw it. You out. think it's about a cup or there? Unless you want to measure it. No. Measure. Uh, you know what? Let's just go. We eyeball it. 
Something my grandma used to do. There's that. How many tablespoons in a cup? How much wood kind of wood? Chop, chop? Just going to eyeball it. We want a cup of this. There you go. That looks... Yeah. No, that looks good. Okay. One egg and one egg yolk. One-hander. Oh, uh, well, this is an egg separator. I like to call it the burger. You put the egg in there. <laughs> oh, hey, double I'm, egg. I'm You're watching. Right? With... Here we go. Oh, oh, I got a big one coming oh. out. Oh. Are you doing, man? Oh. You and blinded look. me with science. Magic of pottery. Mm, there it is. This is a magic of my seventh grade home economics there class. Is. There it is. Just Look yolk. at that. You just just the... the yolk. And then... <laughs> Folks don't have the booganator. The booganator. Lock and load. Always got to keep washing the hands. You ready? Three, ready? two, one. Boom. <laughs> Locker. You got you to gotta start slow. Eight minutes. Really? Oh, you. Okay. You want to well, no, go Well, no. I want seven minutes. You want to go there? Come on. Heavier than his Arlie's lap, she slap hey, shot right there. You remember we eyeballed it, so now we're like, my dough is a little dry, so I had to add a little more sour cream. If it's a little too wet, add flour. If it's a little too dry, just put more sour cream in. You're on a higher speed now, well, too. Oh, I saw you. There you go. Get up all the remnants from I'm down there. Dizzy. On a racer back, <laughs> Kennywood. Oh, they want teacups. It's the whipping. Oh, Enterprise. I was on the Enterprise oh, once. Puke, oh, puke. I puked. I was done for today. But you know what the best thing was? Is I was spinning. I puked. And the puke was up here. And I spun around a second time. And I caught it again. I saw it. Same time. And you know what I can do? The train. I do the train. That's about, that's about it. Cover it up. Let her sit. For about 15 minutes. Yep. Do you want to garnish these beautifully homemade pierogies that are cooking right now? And chop up some onions. Don't slice them and cube them and dice them you want to slice them pretty thick ringlets ringlets and what you want to do is you want to wait till they're translucent if anyone knows what that means translucent means see-through so whenever they become see-through and translucent that's when you know they're done because then they're capturing all kind of flavor from the butter right here this is what they call resting dough face right here we're just <laughs> resting dough face in here cheer up dough cheer up oh look at that there you go. All right. We're going to need a little bench flour. Heading to the bench. Look, like Christmas dust. Like Super Bowl dust. Yeah, Stanley Cup champagne dust right here. Look at that. So you're basically rolling this out, roller and stuffing and cutting. Hey, watch this. Ready? Want to watch me spin this? Look what happens. Look. Look. Uh, uh, right there. Here we go. You just got to keep moving the... And moving the flour. I like to cook in batches, so you want to keep these covered so they don't dry out. That's what she said. Oh boy. I don't know if that's going to make it into the. What you got to do is you got to cut it in half. I didn't say that, Michael. And then. From the office. You got to go ahead. You got to work it and spread it out. That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, Michael. <laughs> Oh, where's Dwight? Is that too thin right there? I think that's that area. What happened in that area? I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Well, you're going to do that. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go. <gasps> oh. Here we go. So you know there were like six or seven pierogies, and then two of them got married and went to Italy uh, in the pierogi race. So now there's only like five of them. Oh, I, what are Did they? Did you know that? They haven't eaten like any baby rogies. <laughs> mini, mini, mini rogie. You know what? That's a that's a good size. And then what do you do? You lay that and you put that in there like that. Yep. Oh, uh, do you stretch it out to those ridges? Yeah, because what you got to do is you got to. I don't know about this. That's well, too I'm... much work. No. I'm sticking with this. Filling that's been chilling. The filling that's been chilling. You put her in there. You get the scooper. That's our potato sausage. Potato sausage. You put one this scoop. This is cheddar. Oh. 
potato cheddar no. and our crot. No, check this out. I don't know, check Jim. I don't this. know. It took you 20 minutes. Uh, look. Oh, no. Let me see. This is not my material, but someone called this. This is now we're in pierogatory. <gasps> pierogatory. This is. You got to hold it for a second. I did, I did not come up with that, though. That is not my. Oh, let's see here. I do not take credit for that. Um, hey, that birth, if that breaks open like a pimple, that's called an angel when they bust open in the water. Really? And then there you they, go. And then anytime you hear a bell ring, angel pierogi gets its stuffing blown gets out. It. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a pierogi. It looks nice. Hey, remember what this is. Yeah, this what is, is that? This is a potato and sausage. Well, we got to keep them separated. Keep them separated. Bam, you got to keep them separated. Bam, bam. You got to keep them separated. Mm. Remember that song? <laughs> yes. Is that Sublime? Hey, comment below if you know the song Keep Them Separated. Is that Sublime? Bam, or is bam, that. Bam, that's bam, one of them. Uh, bam, 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 bam. They're from California. I know that. That's a California skater punk. Get your filling and then start. You actually want to wrap it around and start at the top. And then work your sides. Oh, see, I start at the corner. No. Because then it's like a burrito. You want to make sure that doesn't come out. Fork it. Oh, I feel like I'm down on Polish Hill down in one of them churches with the little old ladies. What is that, on, on 23rd and Smallman? Oh, 27th and Smallman down yeah. in San Stanislaus? And they're just like... We got the old babushka lady in a snowstorm. Yeah, they they're sweating. Because not only do they got, they got the halushka and the kabasa and the whatever. I don't know what the technical term, I don't know what these, what are these called? I think they're made in, they're for Chinese dumplings. Um, catchers. They're, they're really helpful if you have one of these. Yeah. If, if you don't, just use a ladle. Oh, you're taking two at a time. Beautiful. Yeah. And you fry them up. So this is why you got two hands going here. One. Two. You don't want to put too many in at one time because it'll cool down. Three. It'll cool down your water and Four. mess up the process. Five. Oh, uh, look at these. Sometimes you end up with minis. Here's a mini. There's a mini. That's a mini, Mrs. T. Look how little that is. That's a Miss T. Jr. And Jim over here, he got fired. He, we fired him because he was making the dough was so thin it was like egg rolls. And then he made one that looked like a cannoli. So we're like, Holy Jim, cannoli. you're getting out. You're done. You're fired. And so now Mrs. Wife is, uh, she's actually has Polish genes in her blood. She is, uh, maybe that's why she's so good at it. I don't know. Oh, hey, here we go. Jimmy two times Sid, the kid Sid is uh, double two. Jimmy two times double fist in the boiling water. He's got two pots of water. Here we go. Oh. go. oh, listen to that sizzle. Gotta move him around just a little bit. Oh, dog's even happy. Dog wants some. Jay likes to, uh, I don't know, what's that called? That technique. What do you call that? Baby. because she is really i mean she's packing the pouches i mean these are these are about to burst these are just there's hey. there's so much weight to this thing look at that it's, look at that ham work oh. look at that ham work right there she's packing the pouches let me zoom in on it look at that i mean like like you were doing this since you were an infant this is just that looks machine made it's almost like you got some practice and then you lift it up oh put her to bed Oh, and it goes none night. None night. I cried. Oh, my word. They don't do that at pierogies plus down on the rocks. No. They do not put that much filling in, Jim. Uh-uh. No. I think the best pierogies in the burg are pierogies plus down on the rocks. Hey, Comment you know what? below if you think there's a better pierogi. Did the wifey go, did she go too far? Nope. Nope. J to the T to the double A. Nope. It's 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 staying together. There you go. And there's the fork. There, there, right there. Unbelievable. 
That's the fork method right there. Wow. I, I don't think I'll be, I'm going to be able to lift this. Whoa. Uh -oh. Can you hand him this up? She's got a... Well, we got a situation here, boys. We got a moment of truth. We don't have applesauce. Uh, some people like applesauce. Nobody? Yeah, no applesauce here. However... What do you got on yours, sir? I got some hot sauce. Give me them onions. I got some uh, scallion onions. And I got some regular onions. Let's throw some onions on there. I like them a little bit more uh, caramelized. Some these, people these say they're burnt, but yeah, I like the crispy that's... ones. So, and you ready? sour cream. Oh, he likes the sour cream. I like a hot sauce. Here we go. I don't know what I got. Mine's a surprise. Let's see what they taste like. That looks like, I don't know what that is. Mm. 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 Oh, my goodness. They are good. Mmm. This actually is very good. Uh, uh, it's unbelievable. And not doughy, you immediately get the hit of the sausage. Then, not overpowering potato. So you get those two to mix together, but then it's amazing soft pierogi shell. Did you get sausage or the cheddar? Uh, I may have got the cheddar. Well, let's see here. No, that was just that was a sausage and potato. I got two cheddars. I don't know what this one is. I hope it's something different. Oh, I'll try another one here. Let me see what this one is. That's sausage. Oh, that's sausage right there. Mm. Let me get let me get a little bite out there. Who? Let's see. Nice job on the fry. Mm-hmm. Buttery. And you can add, I forgot to add butter. And Jim's like, oh, should we, uh, isn't it, we got too much butter. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, back up. You never up. have enough butter. No, that's impossible. So you actually want to add butter to this with your sour cream, with your onions. You want to add more butter. And the consistency, it is light. It's not a, it's not a filling type of, I could eat these all day long. Let me get you some butter. No, I don't need no butter. I actually right need a little salt, a little butter, but they're perfect. Mm. Yes. Delicious. Definitely try this. I'm a dude. I'm a dude. I'm a dude. <laughs> I'm a dad. I'm a dad. Dude, dads. We're out. And we're out.